stabilizing section sizes and stress relieves the tube. It's very important that we get a round tube size out of the driven sizing section. You simply put your side row passes where you need to to get a round tube size out of here. If you're too wide, bring them in. If you're too small, come down. We have a tube size first setup chart leaving the last driven sizing section. The first sets are there to straighten the tube, not do any final sizing. So as we run our tube through here, we've got our measurements here. The only ones we want to be concerned with is we want a 1.261 round tube size out of number one, 1.252 out of number two, and a 1.2500 out of number three. We've written these down in stands to make it a lot easier for us. Take a measurement up and down. Take it side to side. Compare it to the, to the uh, number written on the stand from the setup chart. Don't forget your diagonal measurements as well. After each adjustment, make sure that you check for parallelism. Dog this size all the way through to the next driven pass. Take your measurement again. Up and down, compared to the setup chart. Side to side, could all be round. Diagonal, same thing. Do the same thing for the last sizing section. Again, double checking for parallelism. If you're making your distance to your side pass stands, don't forget to use your straight edge and make sure that we have parallel side pass stands on each and every pass. Take a measurement after it's set. Make sure that we don't have any influence of sizing happening with the turk set. We should have plugged the turk set when we did our initial setup with a setup plug so that we get our dimensions all set accordingly. Measure again side to side, up and down, and diagonally. Make sure round two sides are 